Let's talk about how to know whether your message is clear or confusing. If you've created marketing content, videos, podcasts, any type of content to try to attract your customers, maybe you've paid money in ads, but it hasn't worked, meaning the right customer hasn't listened, they haven't gone to your sales page, your website to learn more, or to buy your product or even download the free resource you're offering, that's usually because your message isn't clear. You're not speaking to the right customer. Messaging is essential to every single business because it helps you get really clear on who you serve. The who are ultimately going to determine the success of your business, right? Because your customers need to buy what you offer and how will they actually know that they can buy what, they, buy what you offer when what you're offering to them is overwhelming and confusing. It's causing them to put in more effort to actually understand. Having a clear message um, comes down to knowing what words to use because your message begins with the words that you write. And then that translates into the words you speak, like in a podcast, and then the words you also speak and show in a video. So it all begins with words. I think about it like kind of being a parent. So I've got a three-year-old right now, and he's obviously learning to speak still and communicate. And when he can't clearly communicate what he wants, or he assumes that we know what he wants, it frustrates him. He throws tantrums. Uh, yeah, I mean, the terrible twos and threes, the tantrums they throw, that's common. But I, what I've realized is that it usually comes down to the inability to communicate what you want. So when you can help someone clearly communicate what they want in very simple words, it makes anyone understand clearly, whether they are three or 93, a clear message holds true. What I recognize is when you can simply ask questions and get to the root of what he's trying to communicate, then as, a, as an audience member to his message, we can understand what he wants and then deliver that to him. So put yourself into the shoes of a child and you trying to communicate yourself to someone else so that way you can get what you want. For example, you want your customers to go to your sales page or go to your website, download this free resource. Well, to do that, how can you use words so simply to attract them to want to do that and then repel the ones who don't? Imagine if you could, from the first words you speak in your business, in the message you put out, uh, clearly communicate what you do and who you're looking to attract in a way that your customers don't need to ask follow-up questions um, to figure out whether it's right for them or not. You don't want to make your customers put in all that extra effort to figure out what you're trying to communicate. You want to use simple words. So as you go through this framework and document your brand story, your one message and more in the story supply guide, I encourage you to consider how you're speaking to your customers. Are you using simple language so that way they can clearly understand without any confusion what you offer and how you can help them? Language that can be understood by all ages. And as you do that, I can guarantee you can further clarify your message. Your marketing will then work. Your content will then work. You'll know what to say or what to write in your content or what to design in your content in a way that it attracts the people that you feel called to serve.